what I also want to do now is I'm going to recheck. Let's just look for all of them. We'll do a um, a more command. You can see that we also have port. We're now listening on port 587, right? Um, and 993 and 995. It looks like the secure IMAP 4 and the secure POP 3 are now, we're now listening on those. The fact that we're listening on port um, 587, what I can do is, is I can do a quick Google search to search for what service that is. So I did a search under Google for port 587 and that's SMTP over 587, right? So we're good here um, with the ports that are now we're now listening on. So all I had to do was actually just turn on the POP3 and the IMAP4 service and we're good to go now. It's time to work with DNS so I've gone to my server manager and I've opened up the DNS server and um, the server manager is down here at the bottom right here so I clicked here opened up the DNS server area under server manager and I went into my um, dansgames.com area which is in the forward lookup zone and I highlighted dansgames.com and what we need to do is we need to set some records here to make this thing work so that our mail server will be reachable from the outside so um, to do this we're gonna need to change a few things so we're gonna need to add a name server so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna double click here and I'm gonna try to add a name server to this so we'll say ns one dot dans games dot com and then we'll click an IP address here and I'll put in the IP address and let me just double check on the IP address really quickly and it's going to attempt to validate here and it's not going to work and that's going to be okay okay I'll just click okay anyway all right click okay and you can see here I've set up ns1.dansgames.com to resolve to my public IP address. So I'll click apply, click OK. And now I have another name server record for ns1.dansgames.com. And so that's good. Oh, OK, I'm going to change my A record here to point to the public IP address. Okay, let's create a CNAME record for www.dansgames.com and it's going to resolve to dansgames.com. Right, click OK, and that looks good. All right, so we have our www, we have our name server, we have a, um, an A record right and what we're also going to want is a mail record okay let's create an MX record now so we'll say new mail exchanger and we're going to go in here and say mail dot Dan's games dot com and we'll click OK and so now we should have an MX record, let's see here, mail exchange record, MX record pointing to mail.dansgames.com. Well, I'm going to also set up an A record for mail.dansgames.com that also points to our IP address. okay so now I have a host mail and if I wanted to for my for my NS record I could also um, have that a um, I'm gonna also need an A record for my NS so let's do that too we'll say new A record ns1.dansgames.com and we're also going to 
put in oops and that's incorrect I put in the wrong IP address I believe let's see here NS1 yep I put in the wrong IP address so I'll change that to 223 okay I'm lucky I caught that okay oh just have to click apply alright cancel let's delete it and redo it delete alright cannot update it I have to redo it new host a record ns1 alright look at my IP address make sure that's correct okay and it won't let me do it so I'll need to refresh okay there it is NS1 is correct okay just had to refresh. Alright, let's test out this. Since I've got a remote connection to my server, we can test this out with the local computer. So I can, you know, slide this over here and we can look at my local computer here. And we'll do a clear screen. And let's try to resolve some of these and see if they resolve. So we'll say uh, NS lookup, right? And then we're going to look up dansgames.com. All right, and you can see that dansgames.com is resolving to the appropriate IP address. Okay, and then we'll do a set type equal to MX and we'll try to resolve dansgames.com alright and you can see here that we get a mail.dansgames.com and the IP address so that's correct alright that's looking good and then we'll do a set type equal to name server NS and we'll resolve, resolve dansgames.com and you can see here that our name server also resolves so you can see here that we have our mail our mail subdomain name resolving our NS1 our name server is resolving and so that's looking good also if I open up a browser window let's see here okay so let's do the browser window and we open up a new browser window and we type dansgames.com you can see that my my web server is resolving so we know that the name server is resolving because I can bring up the website which is ex I'm hosting it on a different server on my network but the fact that it resolves that's a good sign so I think we're we're making progress here and we've got our DNS set up correctly now all of this works because I've I own the the domain name or I've uh, registered the domain name dansgames.com and I have it pointing to my name servers so um, this doesn't work unless you have a domain name registered with um, some type of registration um, uh, agent 